Have you got three or so points that you might wish to just emphasize to the commissioners before I release you? Or you are satisfied that uh, all points have been dealt with properly? There's one point that I want to talk about. Yes, thank justice. you. I think it would be remiss, uh, remiss of me uh, uh, if I were to leave this room without touching on it. And I'm going to be very, very short. Um, to say, if you have a look at Section 174, Subsection 2 of the Constitution, it says when uh, judges are appointed, uh, the need to reflect a judiciary, I'm, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, a judiciary uh, that matches the demographics should be taken into account. And all that I want to emphasize as the, as at this point, Chief Justice, is that it's 28 years. I think this is the 28th year of our democracy. And um, the Constitutional Court, I think, is the court. No, I, I would be wrong. I, I was about to say it has the least number of judges in that, in that there are only 11 judges. No, now I remember that there are less judges in the Northern Cape and in, in Northwest. But the point that I want to make, DCJ, is that I think it is lamentable that uh, so long after the advent of democracy, when we have a section that expressly states that the need uh, to ensure that the composition of the judiciary matches the uh, demographics of the republic, um, there is still no gender parity at the Constitutional Court. Um, in short, my understanding of Section 174 is that uh, the Court, the Constitutional Court, I, I, I want to confine myself to the Constitutional Court. The Constitutional Court um, must, 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 must match the rest of South Africa. If you look at the Constitutional Court, then you should, it should be a reflection of our country, but at the moment it is not because there has never ever been a stage when that court had um, the same number of women or, or even more. And um, there was a stage, I think it, it was in 2014 or 2015, when the GDRU, Gender Democratic and Rights Unit of the attached to the University of Cape Town, lodged a complaint with the Commission for Gender Equality. And the complaint was related to the fact that there was no gender parity in the judiciary. The judge presidents were, were engaged, and I know because it's in the public domain, there was also a letter from the JSC on the matter. And there was also a matter because the president of the country was also cited as one of the respondents. And in the end, on the 16th of May, 2016, the, a letter from the presidency was issued in terms of which there was an acknowledgement that there was an urgent need to have gender uh, parity in the judiciary. Um, as to why that has still not happened up until now, I don't know. Um, I will be quick to say I acknowledge that um, you know, steps in the, in the right direction have been taken. But I think that um, being 2022, we are at a stage where we should be there already, especially when you consider that you have um, among your candidates women that tick all the boxes, um, experience, you name it, we tick all the boxes. Uh, we have experience. Speaking for myself, I have experience at the Supreme Court of Appeal, which is an appellate court like, like the Constitutional Court, where I have been exposed to all the areas of the law. So I think back then, um, what was stated was that um, a, the pool was limited. But uh, Chief Justice, I think you know too that the, the pool is not limited. The pool in relation to the appellate court is not limited because you draw from the high court. 
where there are female judges already. You draw from the Supreme Court of Appeal where there are female judges already. You draw from the Supreme Court of Appeal and you get a, a female justice who has been a judge for 15 years. So uh, I'll just conclude uh, by saying with all humility, uh, Chief Justice, and all those who know me know that I'm a humble person. And saying this with all humility, that I think uh, now is the time. Thank you, Chief Justice. Uh, just, just, just on that, before we conclude on it. Uh, before, <laughs> before we...